presentation. Uh, this presentation will be little long, but since the topic is familiar to you guys, so it will be easy only. So let's begin with the introduction. So as you all know, concrete is made from Portland cement, which is relatively strong in compression but weak in tension. To so to overcome the tension, so we are using conventional steel bars and reinforcement, and uh, providing some sufficient volume of fibers. Okay, and the fibers also recalibrate the behavior fiber matrix, which we, uh, you will understand after some slides. So, what is in fiber? Fiber is small discrete reinforced material produced from various materials like steel, plastic, glass, carbon, like that. So, you can describe a fiber with this aspect ratio. Uh, aspect ratio means fiber length divided by an equivalent uh, fiber diameter. So, the typical aspect ratio is from 30 to 150 and length from 0 0.1 to 7.6 centimeter. Uh, for steel, it's around 0 0.25 to 0 0.76 and plastic 0 0.02 to 0 0.5 mm. So, fiber reinforced concrete, uh, I actually explained uh, earlier since. Concrete containing cement, water, aggregate, and discontinuous or uniform dispersed fibers. So, why fibers are used in a concrete? So, main role of the fibers is to bridge the cracks. And that develops in the concrete and increase the ductility. And many engineering properties also improved when, while adding fibers. Okay. And mainly the post cracking behavior of the concrete will in increase. So, as you can see in the graph, plain concrete suddenly fails while uh, load is active. But FRC will be just going along until the failure. Okay. You can see from this diagram. Unlike plain concrete, the fiber input function does not break immediately after initiation of the first crack. While the crack happens, the normal concrete will break, but the fiber reinforced concrete won't break. The density of the cracks will be more, I mean the number of cracks will be more, but the size of the cracks will be less for fiber reinforced concrete. So this, uh, this is a table for difference of between fiber reinforced and normal reinforced concrete. So fiber reinforced concrete will have high durability. Uh, it will protect the steel from corrosion. The material which will be lighter. It will be more expensive. And same volume of concrete, the strength will be more for fiber reinforced concrete and less workability. And same opposite for normal reinforced concrete. And this less workability for fiber reinforced concrete to overcome this, we are adding some super plasticizer or plasticizer. For example, Foster SP 430 and Flocon Flow PC 450. This chemical we used for, for my project and this one is used for some industrial um, constructions. Flocon Flow PC 450. And this some history of the fiber dips content. Uh, so it was uh, for asbestos fibers were used in early 20th century. Before that, uh, they, they used straw and mortar are used for producing mud bricks, as you can see in the diagram. Mud bricks and the fibers used in the mud bricks are horsehair. Now coming to type of fibers, there are seven types of fibers, steel, glass, carbon, organic, synthetic, in synthetic, we have polypropylene and nylon fibers, whereas natural fibers we have prior hair and as and hair fibers, and then asbestos fibers. These are the picks: steel fibers, glass fiber, carbon fiber, nylon fibers, polypropylene fibers, and these both combined known as synthetic fibers. The natural fibers are hair fibers and prior fibers, and then another one asbestos fibers. And these are the different kinds of fibers and their characteristics. Uh, coming to steel fibers, the steel fibers aspect ratio is varies from 30 to 250 and diameter varies from 0 0.25 to 0 0.75 mm. They are very ductile and particularly suited for structures for high fatigue strength, shrinkage control of concrete, tensile strength, very high flexual shear, erosion and resistance to splitting, uh, earthwork resistance structures. 
So these are the different shapes of steel fibers available in the market: straight, hoop, paddled, deformed, clamped, irregular. So next come the glass fibers. Glass fibers are a GFRC. They are composition of like cement, sand, water, and admixtures. They are little short in length. Okay. A length varies up to 25 mm. They also they improve the tensile strength and impact strength. <coughs> uh they are, i just skip this points they are more brittle with time uh, so due to alkalinity and cement mortar so as the technology advances there are new types of alkali resistant glass fibers which are not so brittle the carbon fibers they are most commonly used and uh, recently very high modules of elastic and flexion strength they expand if they expand more they are vulnerable to damage even glass they are, they are more prone to damage than compared to glass fibers hence they are treated with resin coating then come the organic fibers organic fibers are chemically more inert either steel or glass they are also cheaper and especially natural now then synthetic fibers and my synthetic fibers are chemical petrochemical fibers they are high chemical resistance low modular elasticity they improve the cement pumpability pumpability means while short treating and spraying of concrete the synthetic fibers do expand the heat of contact holes and even prevent cracking in natural fibers actually these natural fibers are not used in construction because since they are natural they will rot so if they are used while in the rotting stage they will continue rotting while used in the concrete so they are not no longer used in the construction as best as cement they are a, a nice thermal and chemical resistance but uh, they are relatively short in length which is 10 mm and low impact strength now coming to mechanical properties of frc which i referred this journal so compressive strength for cylinders will have improvement for the replacement of 0 to 15% of fibers and modulus of elasticity will increase slightly with increase in fiber content one for each 1% increase in fiber content there will be increase in 3% volume of modulus of elasticity and flexural strength will increase 2.5 times using 4% of fibers splitting tensile strength that 3% of fibers increase splitting tensile strength and the mortar about 2.5 times that of unreinforced one and toughness will increase about 10 to 40 times compared to plain concrete fatigue strength the addition of fibers around 90% fatigue strength will increase and 5 to 10 times for impact strength uh this also i took from a journal Uh, it's comparison of materials for plain concrete as well as for fiber reinforced concrete so you can see for fiber reinforced concrete the cement con content is higher little but so since, since cement content is higher but the fine aggregate and coarse aggregate both aggregates content is less since fiber acts as an aggregate in a concrete so as compared to plain concrete and fiber concrete the aggregate quantity will be less Now factors affecting the properties of FRC. So factors considered will be volume of fibers, aspect ratio, orientation, relative fiber matrix. We'll uh, see further the volume of fibers. So the strength of the concrete will mainly depend on how much quantity you are using, quantity of fibers. So increase in the volume of fibers, and if you increase the volume of fibers, the strength also will increase. Higher percentage of fibers will cause segregation also. Segregation harshness to concrete. Uh, low volume fraction is used for slab. Moderate volume fraction is used for concrete materials such as short piece structures. Capacity, okay. And high volume is used for making high performance fiber reinforced composites. And aspect ratio. Uh, aspect ratio is the uh, length length to diameter. It has report that aspect ratio seventy five until seventy five the strength will be good. If you go beyond seventy-five, the strength will be decreasing, as you can see from this table. 
at least 75 the relative strength and the relative toughness was was increasing then uh, when the aspect was increased to 100 the strength and the toughness was decreasing then uh, coming to orientation of fibers it will be direct, uh, aligned across in the direction of the load this will be parallel perpendicular and this will be for random displacement when it was seen that parallel uh, alignment of the fibers uh, have given higher strength and toughness now relative fiber matrix it should be much lower than that of fiber it will give you uh, strength improvement and impact greater degree of toughness to resistance to impact impact strength will increase then workability depends on the length of the diameter and non uniform distribution of fibers so to get, get higher workability so we are using some kind of water reducing admixtures like phosphor sp 430 to increase the workability uh, mainly the size of coarse aggregates matters so which is restricted up to 10 mm and fibers also uh, what i said earlier fibers also never gas as an aggregate it also as as an aggregate and fine aggregate as, a, as well as in coarse aggregate now mixing mixing also plays a vital role for imparting strength to your fiber reinforced concrete so for example steel fiber content 2 percent volume and when excess more than 2 percent and more than 100 aspect ratio it will be difficult to mix so the main position of mixing fibers for creating frc it will be addition of fibers before adding water i mean while doing the dry mix you should mix the fibers along with the concrete then adding water if you add uh, water earlier as well then some con uh, fibers flocks will be created so improper bonding will be there now coming to advantages and disadvantages as you uh, everyone know advantages main role fibers is to bridge the tracks okay and increase ductility of concrete lumps. improvement of post cracking behavior post cracking means after the concrete is cracked uh, normal concrete will the size of the crack will be increased whereas the fibers will hold the concrete together so the cracking will be less size of the crack will be less then resistance to impact load impact will be impact uh, action will be less in this permeability of concrete max uh, lowers the permeability of water in the concrete it has thus reduced bleeding of water disadvantages specific gravity of the concrete will increase okay and higher cost and corrosion of steel fibers some uh, suppose you are using the coir fibers like that so it will inhibit some water in it so which will sometimes corrode the steel inside it now usage uh, it used in some roadway projects like this mathura agra highway and mainly use of precast tunneling tunneling this side walls will be mainly used with frc concrete uh, thank you guys for spending your time and attending Thank you guys. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. It's really good. Thank you, Tino, you know, okay, for your presentation and uh, your reference from the other you know, chapter. Um, you know. Yeah, yeah, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, shall I have to send the PPT, sir? No, no, no. Send it to me immediately. Okay, sir. Um, next one, anyone ready? Uh, the chin, Shivani. Nation. 
Shivani, King Law. Vigneshwaran, 